been on a tear offensively these past few months, and you know how much they love the extra points he provides. He's been shouldering a bigger load recently, and I think he's just getting started. So the opening lineup for the Timberwolves. Conley at the guard with Edwards next to him. Rudy Gobert is out there with Nas Reed, and it's McDaniels in at the small forward position. And for the Nuggets, manning the backboard, it's Murray and KCP. Porter Jr. and Jokic down low. That is Brown in at the three. The Nuggets on offense. When you discuss the Minnesota Timberwolves, what would you say about their front office, Grant? Well, B.A., they want to be as competitive as possible. Whether it's who they are drafting, trading for, or signing in free agency, this team's goal is to be taken seriously out west. Caldwell Pope against Edwards. Pass to Conley. Outside Edwards. From deep. Brown grabs the board. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. Here's Jokic. Yes. And it's Murray picking up the assist. Jokic has such an efficient, soft stroke, especially from this in-between area. Edwards looking for an opening. He buries it from three. Watch out now. When this guy gets into a rhythm, it is something to behold. First minute and a half of basketball played here in this one. Outside Murray. Jokic against Gobert. Shot clock at six. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. You know, we hear the term point forward a lot. Clark, is it fair to call Nikola Jokic a point center? I don't have any issues with it, B.A. Sure I mean, too. he facilitates as a big guy with the ball in his hands like a guard at times. So point center works, but he's more than that. He's your two-time MVP is what he is. The free throw drops for Jokic. And nothing quite like opening night in the NBA. Clark, how nervous are some of the first-time players and coaches right now? I think first-timers are certainly nervous. The butterflies are flying around. You just have to make sure they fly in formation. Nonetheless, when you have your first taste of being an NBA player or coach, it's a special night because you only can do a first thing one time. You know, what makes Jokic truly exceptional in my mind is the versatility. You know, he's a really good passer. And that, to me, is a tremendous distinction, not to mention how he scores and does the other stuff he does out there. The kick out to Conley. Reed to screen on Murray. For three, Conley gets his second attempt to go. Now he's one for two. Even when he's well covered, Conley can score. He just gets crafty and finds the shot. Pass to Jokic. Just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Here's Caldwell Pope. And it's good. Fought through contact. Hit the shot and will go to the line. And what separates the Nuggets on offense is their efficiency, Clark. You're right on it, B.A. You rarely see them take bad shots. I mean, they are a well-oiled offensive machine. Adamant about getting quality shots on a consistent shot. basis. Target on their back all season. They retain most of their talent and core, and with Jokic leading the way, they remain favorites to repeat. Reed for three, and it's Denver with a rebound. Given his range, you'd expect him to capitalize on that open. Porter the pass to Murray. About three minutes gone here in the first quarter. Jokic up top. Back to Murray. Shot from the top of the key. That one no good. Boy, you've got to be there defensively. I mean, that's an easy mid-range jumper that he'll typically drain. Now here's Conley. Guarded closely. Reed a screen on Caldwell Pope. Pass to Reed from behind the arc. After missing his first attempt, now one for two. Nice read by Edwards there. Finding a wide open teammate and sending the ball his way on target. 
Connolly against Murray. Now Jokic. Here's Brown. Oh, rejected by McDaniels. And it's out of bounds to the Nuggets as Denver retains possession. And we have to take another look at that block. That'll put some fear into the shooters, and he made sure to do it early, too. Jokic with a screen on Edwards. Clock is at three. Stolen by Reed. Driving inside. And it goes. As the official calls the foul, count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. You know, the fighting spirit Nas Reed brings to this game is really something fun. Yeah, I tell you, he's a guy that is dynamic and electric, plays with great passion, and has a way of getting everybody fired up. He's an injection of energy for his team and the buildings he plays in. Well, Chris Finch has done a nice job with this group, Clark. Just seems like he needs a playmaker or two around Anthony Edwards. That's a pretty good observation, B.A. I mean, there's no doubting Anthony Edwards starting. I mean, he's going to be one of the better players of this era, I would think. But you're right. He needs help. It's a team game. He can't do it alone. And so Gobert will bring it up for Minnesota. It's a five-point game. Reed finds McDaniels. Gobert with it. The double clutch. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Grant, some think of Gobert as just a defensive specialist, but he's proven to be more than that. Yeah, B.A., I like how Rudy uses his height to his advantage inside. Focuses on taking high-percentage shots that come to him naturally. And he knocks down the first one. And when you watch this Nuggets team, Clark, their chemistry on the court is obvious. Yeah, B.A., the pieces just fit and fit quite nicely. Give a lot of credit to the front office, doing a good job drafting, and then finding the right veterans to complement who they already had. And so Gobert nails both of them. Well, Clark, no question which end of the floor Rudy Gobert makes his biggest impact. Yeah, he's a demoralizing defender. I mean, his height and reach give him some significant advantages, but it's more than that. You don't win multiple Defensive Player of the Year awards just because you're tall and long. you got to have some toughness. you got to have some anticipation and timing and the willingness to get down in dirt. Pure from three-point range. Hey, that's really good positive offer from Murray. Knows exactly what he's going to do before the ball even gets there. That's shot preparation, folks. Gobert with a screen on Caldwell Pope. The Timberwolves again can't hit. The Nuggets trail. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. It goes on Mike Conley. Really hard not to foul there. Tall with elite skills. Porter Jr. is a handful in the painted area. Shoot two. That free throw, no good. After falling in the first round of the 2023 playoffs, Clark, the Timberwolves still have some work to do. Yep, they were hoping the Rudy Gobert trade, B.A., would elevate them higher. But this is a team that still needs to grow and develop more. I think their front office is going to stay aggressive in tweaking the roster. He hits the second from the line. Grant, when teams come to play the Denver Nuggets, it's not just another regular game in a normal city. Yeah, I mean, the altitude of the mile-high city is an adjustment for many players, B.A. Even if some guys say it doesn't affect them, don't let them fool you. <laughs> it takes some getting used to. Trust me, I know. 
Murray passes to Jokic. Got a piece of it. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Conley. And it's easy to admire how pesky they were on the defensive end. Jumping in passing lanes and being overall extremely aggressive going after steals. Finishing in the top five in the league in that department. And when you look at their field goal percentage last season, it's obvious this was a team that made smart offensive decisions and didn't rush to take shots. Yep, that one goes. The Timberwolves have gone four of nine in this one so far. Conley passes to McDaniels. Here's Edwards. Doesn't go that time. It's been an ugly quarter for him. Trying to shoot his way out of it. Might be time to work on the playmaking skills. Pass to Jokic. Outside Murray. Five on the clock. Back to Jokic. Here's Porter. And it's Denver with another. Now put your head down and go to work. That's what they need to do. Yeah, these teams trading punches right now. I mean, it's table tennis. Back and forth we go. Edwards against Caldwell Pope. Pass to Reed. To win the drought. Oh, his shooting remains on point. Three for four thus far. The Nuggets have gone five of nine from the floor. Murray inside. He's guarded by Conley. The length of McDaniels, a big factor at both ends. Edwards against Caldwell Pope. Shot is good by Edwards. Now it's a four-point Minnesota lead. Oh, what a crafty move, causing the defender to pause right there. Murray passes to Jokic. Pass to Caldwell Pope. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Anthony Edwards. That's foul number two for him. Two fouls for him already. If he's not more careful, his minutes will be curtailed. Watson, he's checked in for Nikola Jokic. And the Timberwolves also making a change. Alexander Walker, he's checked in for Edwards. And so here is Denver. Trailing by four. And it's Watson missing. Minnesota's gone four of eight from outside in this first quarter. And Jamal Murray picks up the foul. That's his first foul. Denver on D. Pass to Reed. Conley against Murray. Conley passes to Alexander Walker. Boy, the determination on defense is pretty impressive for Murray. Really doing his best to pester the shooters. Here's Watson. Now Murray. He shoots. And again, Denver no good. So far this quarter, he's been out of sync and might be pressing right now. Here's Alexander Walker. Turned in an outstanding game against Washington. Pass to Conley. Six on the shot clock. Three-pointer. Alexander Walker with the bucket. And now it's a seven-point Timberwolves lead. And the defense is really allowing them too much room on the perimeter. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Porter with it to stop the run. That one drops for him. Boy, good vision that time from Michael Porter Jr. Saw the wide open teammate and then got the pass to him right on time. Here's Alexander Walker. He's covered by Caldwell Pope. Now here's Reed. Nine points in the game. Jacks up a three. The rebound by Murray. Ooh, that's a tough break. After poor communication defensively, it leaves him all by himself. And he gets that one. And now just a three-point Minnesota lead. He knew exactly where his man was going to be. Outstanding lead pass. 
strongly against Murray. From 11 feet away, here's Reed. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Even though the Timberwolves made the playoffs in 2023, Grant, they had their share of trials. Yeah, B.A., they had to integrate new players. I mean, Cat missed 51 games due to a calf strain. There was that incident with Gobert and Kyle Anderson. And, of course, Jaden McDaniels fracturing his hand. The first one falls. And some changes here for the Timberwolves. Anderson's checked in for McDaniels. And it's McLaughlin in for Conley. the league's best free throw shooting bigs a performance like this certainly proves it Jackson outside Jokic passes to Jackson the shot is good on the assist by Jokic Jokic has got three assists tonight Jokic so dangerous when he's got the rock in his hands he's a top-notch passer as well as a great score he always delivers Alexander Walker. McLaughlin pass to Reed. And out of bounds. The Nuggets will take it. All right, now let's have a look at who was really dominating the boards last season. Nikola Jokic is second. The fourth spot held by Rudy Gobert. These two were a consistent presence around the rim. Able to anticipate where the ball was going and just gobbling up the boards. The Nuggets making a switch here. Najee's checked in. Miller's checked in for the Timberwolves. And so Holiday will bring it up for the Denver Nuggets. It's a three-point game. Pass to Jackson. Najee sets a screen. To the left side wing. Fires the three. Miller pulls it in. For Minnesota, they've got 7 of 15 to find the net. Here's Alexander Walker. He's covered by Holiday. Anderson for three. And he gets it back. Six to shoot. Shoots over Jackson. Here's Miller. Tries yet again. Jokic grabs the board. Jokic has got four rebounds now. Here's Najee. The shot is good on the assist by Jokic. Jokic has got his fourth assist in this one. Their offense is really humming right now, and it's because of the beautiful ball distribution. Ten straight points off assist. That's very impressive, and it also makes the game easy and fun to watch. Reed passes to McLaughlin. Back to Reed. Puts up a three. Rebound by the Nuggets. That's his shot. And one, I'm sure, he wants back. Here's Jackson. Chance there to take the lead, but a miss. Minnesota in the lead. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. It's going to go on Reggie Jackson. Free throws good. The Timberwolves making a switch here. So he hits one of two from the strike. Pass to Jackson. The three is up. Ooh, almost had a four point play right there. But he'll go to the line with a chance for three. With impressive quickness, Jackson is usually able to stay a step or two ahead of the defense. He sucks. Three sucks. Oh, 
And he hits the first of three. And Jackson's speed and basketball IQ really stand out. An experienced veteran with a versatile skill set. it up and his next one could give him the lead. The last one's off. They'll settle for two. Outside, Anderson. Here's Alexander Walker. Sinks the tray. Alexander Walker's got six. And at the end of one, a closely contested game so far. The T-Wolves on top. They're up by three. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter. And this has been a fairly close game through the first quarter. We'll see what happens here in the second. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen from the Timberwolves? Well, it seems like they went in looking to do damage from long range, and they faced little resistance. And you know what? That's what happens when you establish your three-point game early. It puts the defense right up against it. Well, Grant, you've been the up-and-comer, but you've also played the role of the veteran. What's the key to that latter stage? You know, B.A., your contributions as a veteran are felt just as much with your leadership as they are with your numbers. So sharing what you've learned with those younger players on the way up is so, so important. On the court for Minnesota, Miller is out there with Kyle Anderson. Then it's Jordan McLaughlin. Then it's Nikhil Alexander-Walker. And it's Edwards in at the two. He drops in the layup off the glass. And the Timberwolves lead by five. That's serving it up on the platter there. What a nice pass. A high percentage look was the result. Here's Najee. Pass to Holiday. Over Edwards. Outside Holiday. Fires the three. Alexander Walker grabs the board. Minnesota has gone six of 14 from the perimeter tonight. And here's Edwards. Pulls it. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Well, Clark, we know Anthony Edwards is a great hooper. But how would you rate his acting ability? Hey, I thought he was quite good. To be honest with you, B.A., in that Hoops movie, he was playing the bad guy, the villain role. Ant has a huge personality. We saw that on the big screen. Perhaps a second career for him when he's done terrorizing the NBA. First one at the line is good. How about the work ethic of Anthony Edwards? Not to mention that linebacker build and the sweet shooting stroke. But what he wants most is to see his team succeed. That's what you love about AE. And both free throws good for Edwards. Making it look effortless. Send this guy to the strike. He's going to cash in more than not. Pass to Jokic. Jokic the screen. Here's Jackson. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. You know, at this stage of Reggie Jackson's career, it's clear teams value his experience. Yeah, he's someone this team loves having in their locker room. A strong veteran presence who serves as a mentor to his younger teammates. Take a break. Take a break. Two 
Body makes a first. Misses. Minnesota in the lead. To the middle. Here's Edwards. And Edwards slams it in. You can really feel the momentum swinging in their direction. And, you know, they need to stay aggressive here. Build the lead up while they've got the chance. Don't waste this opportunity. Out to the wing. Here's Jokic. Jokic. Great focus. And you can see the focus and the concentration by Jokic because he knows... He has a mismatch because of his height and touch against the defense. There's a screen. Here's Edwards. That one rolls around and rims out. Hey, how about imagining if they were hitting their shots, how big the lead could be. But so far, that's not been the case. And that's on the defense, giving him a decent look. That's his shot. Pass to Miller. Edwards with it. He's covered by Holiday. Edwards, a pass to Miller. There's the block. And it's out of bounds to Minnesota. McDaniels is checked in for Minnesota. Mike Conley comes in for McLaughlin. And just under two and a half minutes gone by. He came out today planning to do as much damage from three-point range as possible. Well, it looks like it's time to change up the plan, guys. The Timberwolves have gotten two of five shots to fall this second quarter. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Anthony Edwards carries a swagger about him. He said, quote, I'm the most confident person in the world. I've always felt like I'm the best at everything I did. Coach Finch said, quote, he is super confident, he's real, and he's genuine. A lot of guys have a confidence that hides in insecurity. He is not that. He knows who he is as a person and as a player. Brian? Yeah, great point. Thank you, Allie. Jokic finds Jackson. Down to five on the shot clock. Stolen! Here they come with numbers in transition. And the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. These guys go flying through the air like that. I love it. I mean, Daniels showing what he's got on the slam there. Once again, an explosive highlight on the AT&T 5G slam can. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. And here's Jackson. He'll bring it up for Denver. Trailing by five. Jokic with a screen on Conley. Jackson, the pass to Jokic. Jackson surveying the D. Clock at six. Naji set to screen. Three-pointer holiday. And again, Denver no good. Minnesota's gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Outside Conley. Outside Edwards. Over Holiday. Shot is good by Edwards. Edwards got 11 points. Boy, how about the strength of Edwards? Confident at taking on defenders and finishing. Conley against Jackson. Pass to Jokic. Here's Watson. Let's the three fly. Anderson pulls it down. Here's Alexander Walker. Six points for him. Right side, Conley. Here's Alexander Walker. Pass to Conley from the arc. Knocks down the triple. And it's a 10-point Minnesota lead. Just a smart offensive player. Conley is aware of when he should look to rise and fire. Whew, I love it. Jackson with it. Caught it now by Anderson. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. That'll put Reggie Jackson on the line. That one on Anderson. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Timberwolves. You know, right from the start, it seemed they got hot from three-point range, pulling apart the defense, and 
racking up the points, too. And, and another thing, they found the open man. Really playing unselfish basketball, moving the ball around there on the perimeter. Here's Edwards. We saw him go on a scoring rampage last game. He was unstoppable. Gobert with a screen on Jackson. Right through the D for the layup. 13 points in the game. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. Jackson finds Porter. Pass to Jokic. Oh, what a slam from the big man, Jokic. And Joker doesn't get up too often, but when he slams it down, it feels like he's trying to bring the basket with him. Edwards, a pass to Gobert. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. It's on Nikola Jokic. there so often Gobert would like to make these at a higher clip Browns checked in for the Nuggets so he comes up empty missing both the Nuggets have gone four of ten from the field in the second Murray's shot is good. Boy, the defense has to respect Murray's range. I mean, there's a reason he's a volume three-point shooter. Conley against Murray. Pass to Alexander Walker. Three-pointer off the mark. Well, it looks like he's cooled down a bit after hitting those two in the first quarter. Brown passes to Caldwell Pope. Jokic with it. Now Murray, he's guarded by Conley. To the left wing, here's Brown. It's good, and the assist goes to Murray. Brown's got his first points of the game. With maturity comes greater patience, understanding how to play smarter. Murray keeps his options open and finds a teammate who's gotten free. Pass to Alexander Walker. Baseline jumper, add that to his line. Now three for six. The Nuggets have gotten six of their 12 attempts to go since the end of the first. Porter with it from downtown. The rebound by the Timberwolves. Gobert's got four rebounds now. Outside Conley. Gobert with a screen on Murray. Conley passes to Gobert. Just four to shoot. Here's McDaniels. That one rolls around and rims out. Denver has gone two of six from distance here in the second quarter. Pass to Murray. Let's go with a three. Buries it from three. Murray's got nine. He's certainly starting to heat up from outside. That's his third for the game. His second in this quarter. Edwards against Caldwell Pope. Here's Edwards. Not a lot of room. The ball's knocked loose. Outside Murray. Pass to Brown. And here's Jokic. Defended by Gobert. Stolen by Conley. Here's Alexander Walker. Bear with a screen on Murray. Here's Alexander Walker. Drains the triple. 
Alexander Walker's got five points now this quarter. Just make sure you keep getting him touches. I mean, you love what he's doing at the offensive end. Don't go away from him. Murray passes to Porter. For McDaniels. No good. A bit long that time. Great defensive effort to lock down the paint. Impressive work protecting the basket. He held his ground nicely on that one. And stolen by Jokic. Tries it from 16. Minnesota with a rebound. One reason this game is so tight is because both teams are hitting the boards with reckless abandon. The battle to a standstill on the boards has really been something to watch. And the game's not over yet. We'll see if one of these teams maintains more energy than the other going down the stretch. Five to shoot. Conley passes to Alexander Walker. McDaniels from long range. It's hauled in by Nikola Jokic. Jokic has got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. On the wing, Murray. And Mike Conley picks up the foul. That's foul number two for him. Timeout call. The Nuggets. Started. The Nuggets making a switch here. Watson's checked in. The Timberwolves also with a sub. Reed's checked in. Watson, seven points in the game. Just five to shoot. The Nuggets need to get one up. Murray from outside. It's rebounded by Rudy Gobert. Gobert's got six rebounds here tonight. ACL injuries are always a scary thing in this league, Clark. It sidelined Jamal Murray for a full 18 months. So tough for a player to lose that kind of time, B.A., but Murray really is a tough guy. And he focused on his recovery and was able to make a strong return to the court. Caldwell Pope against McDaniels. Launches a three. The rebound by the Timberwolves. They host the Hawks after this one. And that's the first of just two home games for him. Here's Reed. He got a piece of it. You know, one area where I think Porter Jr. has surprised a bunch of folks is his shot blocking. I mean, he's got a natural knack for doing it. Back to Murray to stop the drought. And it's Murray finishing it off. <laughs> I tell you, a little extra pressure on D when you're up against a point guard who can elevate. Ha, it doesn't make it easy, does it? And you know, guys, showing how dynamic a weapon he is for this offense, they feed off of that energy and ability to make plays. It gets them going. From 17, jump shot is good. Murray's got 10 points now, just in this quarter. Boy, on nights like this, it seems like Murray is playing that defense like a song. He can make it a long night for the opponent. Edwards against Caldwell Pope. Pass to Reed. Timberwolves need to get. 
get off a shot here. Outside Edwards. He drops it from range. Edwards has got 16 points now. Beating the buzzer just by a whisker. Edwards with the flair for the dramatic. Outside Porter. There's the triple. It's good. And the assist goes to Murray. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Jamal Murray. He's been the guy making things happen for Denver. Hit a couple from downtown this quarter. And don't go far. We'll be right back. Thanks for tuning in. The story tonight with the Minnesota Timberwolves, they're in a close game. Well, we know how pivotal three-point shooting has become in this league, and we're seeing it again tonight. They're firing lasers and doing damage. Yeah, they're spacing the court and finding open shots. And now let's take a moment. The fans hitting us up on social media. Here's one we got from Yum Applesauce. What really goes on behind the scenes between halftimes? Tell the truth. You guys ready to disclose our secrets? Well, we really do just watch the games, but we definitely get the snacks going on now. Or in Shaq's case, a full five-course meal. Well, maybe if you ate a little more like me, you'd get big and strong like me. We do go through a, a lot of food around here, but I think we can all admit it's a group effort. Appreciate you joining us. It's been our distinct pleasure, and I mean that. Let's now take you back over to the third quarter with Brian Anderson. And if you're just joining us, we played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. Boy, you got to like what we're seeing from Anthony Edwards. Yeah, tonight, he's done a great job of slashing through the lane and finishing. Yeah, you know what, guys? They gave him too many free runs to the hoop in the first half. I think they've got to be a lot tougher on him. Body him up. Be physical with him. Porter Jr. and Jokic down low. Manning the backcourt, it's Murray and KCP. And it's Brown in at the small forward position. That's the group in the game for the Nuggets. All right, let's go to the leaderboard and see the top passing teams last season. Second, the Nuggets. Well, I thought this team last season was a team that had some beautiful dimes. I mean, they would spread the floor with their ball movement and spacing and player movement. It was a beautiful thing to watch. Nice passes leading the baskets. And that one falls. That puts him up one point in the game now. Jokic drops them both. And so it's Conley who brings up the ball for the Timberwolves. Pass to Reed. Six to shoot. Back to Conley. Now here's Reed. Takes a three. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. Jokic has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Outside, Caldwell Pope. Look at Jokic working inside. Yeah, first and foremost, he's a pass-first team player, is Caldwell Pope. Love seeing that. A little over a minute gone here in the second half. Gobert finds Edwards. From down in the low post, it goes. Edwards got 18. Boy, you love to see Edwards shine on offense like this. I know it's got to be making his coach happy, too. Pass to Brown. 90 seconds into the second half now. 
Out of bounds. It'll be Timberwolves ball. Second in assists. And they cracked the top five for team three-point percentage. That gave them such an edge on the offensive end, forcing the defense to come out and cover them at the arc. Hey, it's no simple task to lead the league in field goal percentage. It takes a lot of patience and a lot of restraint. Caldwell Pope against Edwards. Knocked away. Let's it go from 14. Chalk up two there. Edwards has got four points this quarter. Nice mid-range J from Edwards there. He's obviously not too concerned about what the analytics say about that shot. Quarter the pass to Murray. Ooh, lots of contact on the shot. So two free throws will follow that whistle. And the foul called on the Minnesota Timberwolves. Quite honestly, he's a combo guard. He's got great range and scoring ability, but I like the way he's developing as a playmaker, too. So he gets them both. Now Conley. He's got six. Second half of play here. We're just under two and a half minutes past. Just five on the clock. Reed passes to Conley. Hook loose. Back come the Nuggets on the run. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. Tracking him a real chore. Murray very active, constantly on the move. Throw drops from Murray. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Just over two and a half minutes gone by in the second half. And the Timberwolves call time here. One guy who's been getting it done is Jamal Murray. Yeah, this guy is torching them. And so far, their defense hasn't responded.
Well, we're into the third quarter, just over two and a half minutes played. Pass to Reed. Murray against Conley. Oh, they get a hand on it. Four on the clock. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Murray. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. The Nuggets have some flat-out scorers on their roster, but head coach Mike Malone said the way we play is pass is king. The ball moves around and everybody benefits. And Brian, it sure helps when your best player, Nikola Jokic, is setting the tone with his incredible court vision. No doubt about that, Ali. Thanks for that. Shot clock at three. And here's Edwards outside. Fires in the triple. Edwards has got seven now in this quarter. They found a nice groove in this half, starting out three for four. To the paint. Pass to Brown. Outside Porter. There's a screen. Outside Murray. Back to Porter. Fires from deep. And Conley grabs the miss. You know, when he has the ball outside like that, that's exactly the kind of D they need to play on. Edwards against Caldwell Pope. Picked by Gobert. Right side, Edwards. For the lead. Tipped. Helps to have a shooting guard who can block shots. A real bonus in Caldwell Pope. Does a nice job at stiff-arming shooters. And stolen by Edwards. Driving to the basket. Again, the miss by Edwards. And it's Jokic with the ball for the Denver Nuggets. They lead by one. Pass to Murray. That's tipped. Up top, Caldwell Pope. Here's Brown. Shot clock at six. Back to Caldwell Pope. The three is up. Nails it from beyond the arc. Caldwell Pope's got six. Used to having a hand in his face, Caldwell Pope likes the challenge of making hard shots. Gobert with a screen on Murray. For three, Conley. Ooh, once again, off the mark by Minnesota. Here's Porter. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. And, you know, when Porter Jr. is healthy, I mean, he's got a lot of game. This guy is versatile. He's got good size. He's a multi-dimensional talent. All right, guys, what do you think so far about the offensive approach for the Nuggets? I mean, they played some beautiful basketball all game. The passing has been impressive, and it's opened up things with their ball movement. You know, they've been knocking down triples, too. They've continued to make the most of their opportunities from behind the arc as well. That's good from Porter. McLaughlin, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. hits them both. Here's Edwards. 23 points in the game. From outside the arc. Jokic grabs the board. Jokic has got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big time effort. Outside quarter. Pass to Murray. Back to Porter. Nice D from Reed. Yeah, he just flat out tricked that one, missed it, and has no one to blame but himself. And here's McDaniels. 4-3. The Timberwolves again can't hit. Now here's Caldwell Pope. Defense is right there. Crafty move. And it's Jokic laying it in. Jokic has got 16 points now. Tonight it's been all joker all the time. He's been pouring it on here. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Edwards has to read. Six on the shot clock. Back to Edwards. And that one good. Edwards got nine points now in the quarter. Yeah, this period, they're letting him go to work, and it's paying off. Pass to Murray. Launches it. Reed with the rebound. 
He had more than enough room to hit that. Just couldn't make it happen. Here's Edwards. Jokic grabs the board. Jokic is... And stolen by Edwards. Right side, McDaniels. Here's McLaughlin. It's Edwards on the wing. Oh, got a piece of it. And that'll be Minnesota's ball as it goes out of bounds. Timberwolves able to keep the possession. Watson, he's checked in for Brown. And the Timberwolves also making a change. Alexander Walker, he's checked in for Anthony Edwards. Here's Alexander Walker. He's got 11. Shot clock at 5. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. It's on Contavious Caldwell Pope. first from the line that time. And so Murray will bring it up for Denver. Four-point game. Outside, Caldwell Pope. Quarter a screen. Let's it go from 11. And the jumper is on the mark. Caldwell Pope's got eight. Can't allow any separation off the screen. Caldwell Pope, very good at taking advantage of any space you give him. Pass to Gobert. From seven feet away, here's Alexander Walker. Porter with the steal. For the finish! Oh. And then Porter with the dunk. Porter Jr. anticipating the pass there and got a piece of it with that long wingspan. Minnesota's gone just one of five from three-point range here in the third quarter. Here's McLaughlin, defended by Murray. McDaniels. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. One shot. Known as a versatile and tremendous defender, McDaniels also continues to make real good progress as a scorer. Murray deciding where to go with it. Outside, Caldwell Pope. Pass to Porter. Now here's Jokic. Over Gobert. Rebound, Minnesota. Gobert's got rebound number seven tonight. Here's McLaughlin. Out left to the wing. Fires for three. Knocks down the long J. Now just a two-point nugget lead. Gobert can look over the top of just about any defense right there. Delivers a nice pass. Hey, yo, yo. Back in. Back in. The pass to Jokic. Now Porter. Three-pointer. That falls. Nice feed from Jokic. Jokic has got seven assists in the game. Fun watching Porter Jr. come right back with his own three. Love that competitive spirit. Here's Alexander Walker. He's covered by Caldwell Pope. The shot by Alexander Walker, no good. Denver's gotten two of four threes to fall here in this third quarter. Murray passes to Watson. Murray inside, and it's Gobert with a rebound. Gobert's got eight rebounds in the game. Here's McLaughlin, defended by Murray. Reed to screen on Murray. Here's McLaughlin. 
Nikola Jokic grabs the miss. For Denver, they've gotten 6 of 11 attempts to fall so far in the third. Here's Watson. Soft touch off the glass. Watson's got nine points. Always a good possession when you can get that kind of look. Outside McDaniels. Here's Reed. Another miss by Minnesota. I think he's gone completely dry. Nothing is hitting. And, you know, you can sense his frustration. This is going to be a test of his resolve here. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's a shot he typically makes. To the inside. Pass to McDaniels. The three. And here's Reed. There's the three. They get it back. Here's Gobert. Oh, Gobert! reach of Gobert. Those long arms sometimes seems like he's everywhere. An overwhelming presence on the offensive line. Here's Caldwell Pope. The layup misses. That's a rarity for him, especially against the soft defense. Pass to Gobert. Reed with it. Here's Alexander Walker. No good with the triple. Right wing. This one for three. A nice shot by Watson. Watson's got five points now in the quarter. Is that right there? That's the kind of look this system is designed to create. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Pass to Gobert. McDaniels with it. Five to shoot. Knocks it loose. They've got numbers. Here's Porter. Off target. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. The Timberwolves trail. 23 seconds left in the third. Here's Reed. Defended by Murray. And stolen by Murray. Here's Caldwell Pope. Rips down the breakaway slam. How about the commitment, guys, from Murray on defense? Moving his arms all around. Coming up with steals as a result. Active arms and hands. A big part of it. And count it. The shot is good, and he'll go to the line. Honestly, I don't know how he pulled that off. And that was not a soft foul he had to get through. I mean, he had to really power that one up and in. One shot. the Denver Nuggets closing out this quarter with a seven point lead the hustle they've shown on defense has been tremendous back to the game after this break And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. And he definitely deserves the award. Reading the defense like a point guard. Terrific versatility coming from a big man. Not something that the majority of big guys possess. With three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store. 
And a look now at the five for the Timberwolves to start the fourth quarter. They've got Kyle Anderson, Jordan McLaughlin out there with Anthony Edwards. Then it's Miller, and it's Alexander Walker in at the three. And physically, Edwards may not look young, but he is just scratching the surface of what he can become. A lot of upside in this young man. Here's Jokic. And Jokic throws it down. So good at getting to his spots and then cashing in, making the game look easy. Pass to Miller. Here's McLaughlin. Anderson with a screen on Jackson. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. Yeah, they're making the most of their opportunities at the stripe, and they'll need to keep it up to take the lead. Jackson for three. Minnesota with a rebound. Inside. And he throws it down. What a terrific lead pass. Coaches love to see ball movement, especially when it gets you that kind of look. Jackson has this ability. He can hit you from mid-range when he has the shot. Edwards against Holiday. And they're going to count that bucket. And they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. Najee, he's checked in for the Nuggets. One shot. The Nuggets have gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. Jackson down low. Blanketed by the D. He fights to the rim for the layup. Jackson's got four this quarter. And challenging the defense inside. Jackson with no fear. And here's Edwards outside. Watson with a rebound. And that's a strong closeout defensively. Great effort to deter the shot. Pass to Jokic. There's Jackson with the three. McLaughlin with the rebound. The Timberwolves have gotten four or five attempts to fall so far in the fourth. Now Edwards. They set the pick. And he takes that one up and powers it through. Oh, doctor. Oh, my goodness. Anthony Edwards. Throwing it down with force. Get this guy in the dunk contest. And how about our AT&T 5G slam cam? Couldn't have captured that play any better. Kicks it out to Jackson. Here's the three. Count that one. He's now five for eight. That's a clutch shot by a big-time shooter. And where's the D? McLaughlin pass to Edwards. Over Holiday. Rebound by the Nuggets. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. Here's Jackson. Minnesota with a rebound. Miller's got five rebounds in the game. Pass to McLaughlin. A look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone by in the fourth. Here's Edwards. Here's Alexander Walker. Nails it from three. What was the defense thinking? I mean, that's the wrong guy to leave open. And here's Jackson. He'll bring it up for Denver. They lead by one.
pass to Jokic. Here's Naji. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. And, you know, even though they're on top, they're winning. I mean, they could use more from him. Trying to shut the door on this one. Back to Anderson to take the lead. It's deflected. Out and out of bounds. Denver will have it. And the Nuggets making a change here. Caldwell Pope checked in. Denver has gone only one of four from the perimeter here in this fourth quarter. Pass to Jokic. Outside Holiday. Jackson with it. Clock at six. Here's Jokic. McDaniels with some nice D. For Minnesota, they've gotten six of ten attempts to drop in the fourth quarter. It's Edwards on the wing. does not back down even if it means taking physically hard contact he's fearless take a break take a break two shots and it's tied up with that one two at the line. Couldn't put them in the lead, but at least does enough to tie it up. Gobert against Jokic. Outside, Caldwell Pope. And stolen by Edwards. He takes it in. On the money with a shot from the left block. Time out, time out. Edwards got 35 in the game. He's carried Guarded. much of the scoring load tonight. And with the win in reach, don't expect him to let up. Time called here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. At this point in the game, fourth quarter, it's always important to stay focused. And while the coach goes over the plans, these players are getting a much-needed chance to get hydrated with some Gatorade. A different look for Denver. Michael Porter comes in for Holiday. And Murray subbed in for Jackson. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear what the Nuggets head coach was saying to his team. This might be a close late game, but don't tell coach. They were cool as a cucumber in the huddle, and I think that resonates with their players. We'll see if that approach works. Brian? As always, Allie, we thank you. The Nuggets trail. And here's Caldwell Pope. Pass to Murray. Beyond the arc. The shot is good on the assist by Jokic. Jokic has got nine assists in the game. Great passing. The Timberwolves have gone seven for 11 so far in the fourth. Edwards with it. Gobert with it. Back to Edwards. Just five to shoot. 
Let's it go from deep. Hits the trifecta. Edwards got 38 points. He's going off this quarter. A huge reason why this team is on top. Outside Murray. Here's Porter. Oh, rejected by McDaniels. Here's Conley. Rejected by Jokic. Hey, give Jokic credit. He's worked hard on his body and his defense again. And he gets it to go. He's 8 of 11 now. And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. You know, they want the ball in his hands here because they trust him to hit all the big shots. Edwards against Caldwell Pope. Now here's Edwards. He's closely guarded. From deep three-point range. Rebound by the Nuggets. They've led by as much as 10. Pass to Murray. Gobert against Jokic. 16 feet out. And there's Porter on the assist by Jokic. Jokic has got assist number 10 tonight with that last one. And it's Edwards with the ball for Minnesota. Trailing by two. Reed the screen on Caldwell Pope. Reed passes to Conley. Outside Edwards. The three. Knocks it down from distance. Edwards got 41. Well, he's filling it up right now. Getting the shots he wants and delivering in a big way. Outside Murray. For three. And the Nuggets hit again from deep. He's really picked up where he left off in the first. Minnesota has gone three of six from downtown so far in the fourth. Pass to McDaniels. Takes the three. To get it back. Gobert. Terrific finish in close by Gobert. That's about all you can do if you're the defense. I mean, Gobert's solid at making tough shots. Now Jokic. Left side, Caldwell Pope. Here's Watson. And here's Porter outside. Oh, he drains the three. And he'll go to the line for one more. Jaden McDaniels picks one up. Browns checked in for Watson. Good from Porter. Now here's Conley. Pass to Gobert. Back to Conley. Reed to screen on Murray. From deep, Conley. It's hauled in by Nikola Jokic. Jokic has got rebound number 19 now. Incredible board work. Murray finds Jokic. Here's Brown. Outside Murray. Jokic against Gobert. Pass to Brown. The three ball. It's good. And the assist goes to Murray. Murray's got his sixth assist of the night. The Timberwolves trail. Edwards. Dipped away. And here we go. The Nuggets on the fast break. Here's Caldwell Pope. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul and he'll take two free throws now. If they keep hitting free throws at this clip, it'll help them seal the deal. Yeah, they've not missed a single foul shot this half. and That's taking care of business, fellas. Free throw is good. You know, I still think Caldwell Pope does not get enough credit for everything that he provides. Suffocating D, efficient offense, excellent energy, 
And this dude is a real valuable piece. He's perfect from the line this time. Here's Edwards. Gobert with a screen on Caldwell Pope. Here's Edwards. Ooh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. It's on Contavious Caldwell Pope. Really important for this team to get production from Edwards. When he's aggressive in scoring the ball, they go to another level. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. down the first one. And that's good as he hits both shots. Grant wouldn't be a bad idea here to slow it down. Yeah, the coach is definitely looking for patience and execution. Down low. Puts up the eight-footer. Jokic using his size. Spreading and throwing his weight around. Jokic playing through that contact. We've got 155 left to play in the fourth. Edwards a pass to McDaniels. Michael there. Let's go with a three. McDaniels can't hit. The Nuggets on offense. They're on an 18-7 run. Oh, and Gobert powers it home. Stay clear of Gobert on the dunk now. The force he goes to the rim with is mighty. Murray passes to Jokic. Caldwell Pope with it. Over McDaniels. Caldwell Pope shot is off. Minnesota shooting 55% since the start of the fourth. Reed finds Edwards. Outside McDaniels. Oh, wow. Drew the contact, and that three almost went in. So he'll go to the line for three free throws. The length that McDaniels brings gives him an advantage against the smaller defender, sometimes drawing a foul like he did there. takes on greater importance. Outside Murray. Outside Porter. Pass to Brown. Back to Porter. Left side, Caldwell Pope. The Nuggets with another miss. So it's Minnesota now. Here's McDaniels. Cash! What a beautiful shot! Brings it within three! Coming up big in the clutch. McDaniels with the highlight real hoop. Outside Porter. That's the Brown. Back to Porter. Here he goes. And it's good. Porter Jr. What a clutch shot. Stepping up when they needed him to. Timeout call the Timberwolves. They're down by five. 27 seconds left in the fourth quarter.
passes to McDaniels. Unloads from 13. Edwards can't hit. And now they decide to foul intentionally. And Mike Conley picks up the foul. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he'll sit the rest of this one out. He can't be happy with fouling out, but the game seems out of reach anyways. He drops the first one, and that increases the lead to six. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a seven-point game. Sensing an opportunity here to increase the lead and capitalizing on it. And Minnesota calls time here. They're down by seven. There's 18 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. Your thoughts, guys? Trying to extend this one, but it seems futile. You know what? I'm sure crazier things have happened, or, or maybe not. It's, it's a long shot, though. against Reed. Pass to Gobert. Fires for three. And no good. So it's Denver picking up the win. Boy, a hard-fought game. They did a great job of holding on to the lead at the end. Yeah, get the coffee, because that's the way to close. You're going to face some obstacles in the game, but they overcame every one. All right, let's send it down to Allie LaForce, who's with our player of the game. Nicola, congratulations on the... All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. And that about wraps it up. For Grant Hill, Allie LaForce, and Clark Kellogg, this is Brian Anderson thanking you all for tuning in tonight. So long, everyone.